And welcome into the ballpark. Happy to have you with us. MLB The Show with a good one coming at you. It's the New York Yankees taking on the Houston Astros. Alongside Chris Singleton, I'm John Shomby. All right, Singy, we get a chance to play in one of the cooler venues in all of baseball. Well, such a cool place. I got goosebumps walking in today. Just so honored to be in this setting, and I know the players down there on the field, they can't wait to get going. This opportunity is once Coming up on the first pitch and towing the slab in this one, Justin Verlander. How about a report on him, Chris? Try to stay back for that power changeup. Speed differential between the fastball and the changeup is huge. Hitters, they have a hard time staying back. All right, ready to get underway. DJ LeMahieu will get things going. In the air of the infield. And there's one away. Here comes Aaron Judge. One down, base is empty. Chris, when you look at Justin Verlander, what makes him so good on the mound? Well, I would say in the prime of his career, the fact that as the game went on and he got deeper into his outing, he actually gained more velocity and became more crisp. So he was one of those classic pitchers that you said, if we don't get him early, we're not going to get him at all. Two outs, base is empty. And stepping in for the Yankees, Glaber Torres. Or is a guy the Yankees acquired for Aroldis Chapman back in 2016. He is fearless. You can't tell if he's been in this league for eight years or two years. Oh, wow. nice play. The throw, it's there, and that's a great play. Well, that's cat-like reflexes over there at the hot corner. Nice job of making that play and ending the inning. here at the ballpark and pitching in this game Michael King well this guy has a ton of respect from his own teammates and the guys that are playing behind him just seem to take it to another level you know, he's the type of guy he's not having a good day to try to save that bullpen for the game in the next game he'll go out there and wear it so in this one if he can keep his pitch count down early he has the ability to work deep into this ball game slings the first one up one down here's Alex Bregman He's someone that really beats up on right-handed pitching. The lefties, however, give him a little bit more trouble. And the pitch. Oh, look at the stop. Gathers and throws. Nicely done for the out. A quick move to his left. Fully extended there in front of the shortstop to make the grab. Up with it. Then a strong, accurate throw across the diamond to complete this highlight play. That one down the line and foul ball. 3 2. Struck him out without a swing. Couldn't pull the trigger on a fastball at the knees. Astros are down. And welcome back. New inning getting started. And now, Giancarlo Stanton. Giancarlo. Giancarlo Stanton, certainly a physical presence, and Chris, one of the more imposing guys at the plate in the entire sport. He's a force, and I think it's scary for pitchers thinking about making a mistake to him because you know you're not going to get that baseball back. He hits the ball so hard, you don't even have to watch him swing. You can just close your eyes and listen and know exactly who it is that hit the ball. Carl Dixon working the plate in this one. You know, we often hear and talk about umpires being a pitcher's umpire, but Boot Dixon, nope. maybe a little bit more hitter friendly than most. He's kind of tight on the corners, so we'll see if that comes into play at all in this one. You know, Boog, it's been said these guys are savages in the box. You can see it right there with such tight plate oh. discipline. Just oh. off the outside part of the plate. flew open a little bit with that front shoulder but was able to slow his bat down just enough to make contact with that pitch keep the bat alive worm burner into the outfield for a knock lead runner holds up 
They're at first and second with nobody out. He was all over that one. Really nice job staying up the middle with his approach. He didn't try to do too much with the pitch. Just shot it through the infield. Runner in scoring position now and a good opportunity to push across the first run of the ball game. And a swing and a miss there. That one out to right. Reaching for it, makes the catch. Runner tags up for third, and he moves up 90 feet. Runners at the corners now, one away. Gotta love the over-the-shoulder catch. I tell you what, those are really fun to make. Everson Pereira stepping in now for the Yankees. The last thing he wants is to hit the ball on the ground, but I wouldn't expect many pitches up in the zone. They'll be pitching for a double play in this spot. Next pitch misses. Ball three. Esteban Florial waiting to hit for the Yankees. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. In the air, right field. Tucker should have it. Makes the catch. And there's two down. Throw, and it gets away. And now it's Esteban Florial. Stanton, the runner at third. Welts on at first with two down. That misses. Three balls and a strike. Oswald Peraza to bat next. And the righty deals. High fly ball out towards left field. Back there. And it's gone. Home run. A three-run homer, and they jump ahead in the second. It's 3-0. Elevated fastballs, especially away, are like putting a ball on a tee. Hitters do a lot of cage work. They're comfortable hitting off the tees, and he was comfortable right there hitting that ball opposite field for a home run. So two down. Here's a speed threat. Oswald Peraza. Swing and a miss. <laughs> Two outs. In the air, right side of the infield. Snags it on the run. And that's the third out. Another look at the long ball for the Yankees. It's now 3-0. Major League Baseball is on the show. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And here now is the Astros cleanup hitter, Kyle Tucker. Singy, you can't ask for anything more. This guy checks all the boxes offensively. He is the ultimate professional, and it doesn't just start at game time. It starts in the afternoon the way he prepares and gets ready for the ball game. I tell you what, his teammates feed off of the leadership that he shows on and off the field. Batting. Chaz McCormick now at the plate. The 3 1. Swing and a miss. This guy's got such a good sinker. As a hitter, you've got to look up in the zone. If you look down, you're going to be chasing stuff in the dirt. That one clubbed out towards left center. That'll be extra bases. Takes the turn. He's digging for second. And that's a two-bagger. All over that one right there. Nice line drive to the pull side right there, but he didn't spin off of it. That's the key. You still have to extend through the baseball in order to hit a line drive like that. Here's Michael Brantley. Ground ball right side. Steps on first for the out. Well, he didn't recognize changeup earlier enough. Got out in front a little bit, rolled over on it, and beat it into the ground. We'll say Abreu up to hit. And this is a big opportunity for him to pick up his teammate right here. Next offering is in for a strike. Now 
That one missed. Here's a 2-2. Popped in the air. Left field. Puts the squeeze on it, and that'll do it. So no. Back here in Indianapolis, all set for the start of the inning. Here's the Yankees leadoff hitter, DJ LeMahieu. Next offering misses, two and one. Charlie's back out here for the third, and after the first couple of innings, pretty rough. I think the skipper is looking for him to give him a little bit of length, see if he can save the bullpen some. Great swing and solid contact, just a little too quick. He's got to stay back a little longer. Now fly ball to right center. Makes a nice run and catch. What a way. Every day oh, during batting good. practice, these outfielders the get about 10 area. minutes of balls Good. in the gaps. They practice this, and when the game comes, they make the play perfectly. Two and one on Judge. And a strike in there. Righty to the plate. Helpful. He should get a pretty good pitch to hit here with the three hole hitter coming up if he's walked. Sets him down looking. Throws him with the heater at the knees. Now Labor Torres up to hit. First time up, he grounded to third. Ball to strike. The pitch. Good eye right there. Strike two. The baseball is coming out of his hand very well. He's been able to paint all four corners, but really good ride at the top of the zone. Hitters have to respect that. Very difficult pitch to hit. That one gets down for a hit. Now he'll turn for second, and he's in with a stand up double. Up, up, up. When you pop a ball up like that, you don't expect it to get you a knock too often, but right there, somehow he got it to drop in behind first base, and that's where no one could get to it. And one and two. The strategy of winning a ball game, when you can make that pitcher work a little more, expose himself by throwing pitches, that could be the key to winning perhaps later on. So good job of extending this inning. This one swung on and hit well. Way back there. And that one's gone. He flexes his power with that swing, and they add to the lead. It's 5 zip. That was one of those home runs where you really don't know if he got enough of it off the bat. I mean, he put a good swing on it, clearly, but I wouldn't say he really got the sweet spot on the bat. The exit below wasn't anything too impressive, but it had all it needed for him to circle the pillows. Out towards right center. That's well struck. Gone! Another one. Back-to-back -back homers, and they add a run. It's 6 nothing. That's their third home run of the game. They're having a lot of fun at the plate in this one. They've got the long ball working for them on autopilot. Back-to-back -back jacks, and this club is fired up right now, Boog. This is the kind of thing where you really start to notice hitters in a lineup feeding off each other, and the collective confidence just continues to grow. Here comes the skipper out of the dugout, and he's ready to make the move. Jose Urquidy gets handed the rock out of the pen. He's got a wicked breaking ball in his arsenal, and it's definitely one of his go-to pitches when he needs an out. Swings and misses, and it's one and two. Back to the mound. It hit him. No chance for a play, and let's hope the righty's not hurt on the mound. The comebacker got him down low, and you can really see him favoring the leg. That's his plant leg, which might be a concern, Chris. Yeah, you hope he's got some feeling in that leg so he can land on it, like you said. But from the way he's acting out there, I think it looks like he's going to be okay and try to continue, Boo. Now, Everson Pereira. Right-handed reliever. 
Swing and a line drive. Base hit out of the center field. Throw in holds the lead runner at second. Two on now with two away. Look, I don't think that pitch would have been called a strike, but he did such a nice job of pulling his hands tight to the body and just getting enough of the barrel on it to be hard enough back up the middle for a knock. And now here is Esteban Florial. This guy's seen two changeups in a row. Could be a little vulnerable for a fastball right here. That one the other way. Makes the catch in and over. But the long ball was working in this inning. Not once, but twice. It's now a 6 nothing ball game. It's Major League Baseball on the show. Set for the bottom of the third. And stepping in for the Astros, Jeremy Pena. We talk about guys with good speed, and definitely he has it. But pushing the offense aside for just a second, Chris, it's the defensive side that I well, think the speed play. factors in the most. On a line, base hit. Hitting is really easy for some guys. One thing that I can see already Not is enough. bat stays in the zone on plane for an extended period of time. And guys like that, they have a high contact rate and they have more barrels because of that bat being on plane. And even when you don't get it great, it's still hit hard enough to dunk something in like that in front of the center fielder. Now that we'll say Altuve up to it here. Over one so far. Altuve. The three two is off the outside edge and that is ball four. Well, a breaking ball in that 3-2 count kind of tells you that that's the pitch he has the most confidence in right now. Just couldn't find the strike zone. And here it comes. On the ground to the left. It's through for a hit. Pena around third. Here's the throw to the plate. Not in time. He's safe. And a run comes in to score. Well done. Drives in the run. Didn't make quality contact on the ground ball to the pull side, but sometimes it's just a matter of finding a hole in the defense. Could be a chance here for them to start clawing back into this ballgame. Here's Jordan Alvarez. His first at bat was a strikeout. Left-hand hitter waits. Right side. Oh, great stop. The throw, Torres. Over to second, oh, to first, not in time. Great effort there. Here's Kyle Tucker. He's over one. The one, two. In the dirt. No advance, good job behind the dish. Here's a 2-2. Two -two. Line drive. Pulls up on it, and that's a base hit. Scrambles back to second safely. A run comes in on the play. Comes through with the RBI. Just a very nice approach and swing right there to use the big part of the field. Everything was on time. He stayed balanced through the entire swing and just launched that one into center. Next pitch in the dirt. And it's two and two. Just misses with that one. That's a good miss off the inside part of the plate. You'd much rather miss there than out over the plate where this guy could do some real damage. 3-2. Ground ball to the right That's side. Down. And it goes just foul. Lifted in the air right center field. Florial glides to his left. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And that is the. Welcome back. And stepping in is the speedy Oswald Peraza. He's someone that you might not describe as having elite level speed, but he can absolutely move, and it is a factor in his game. That misses. And a count two and one. Boog, this guy's definitely a plus runner, but what I love about him is that he goes all out every single time, never takes a break. It's guys like that, even though they don't have the elite speed, the fact that they're consistent with it 
they make moves on the base paths. Yeah. There's a strike. You got a full count. That one the other way, and he dropped it. No, he stayed. So the batting order turns over, and now it's DJ LeMayhew digging in. Urquidy picks the first, and he's back safely. Two one pitches in there, and the count is even. Peraza on at first, nobody out. Next pitch is outside. I don't know how you take that one after the called strike on the corner, just a little bit off the edge. The pitch fouled off again, and it remains three and two. The pitch. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. You can see he was trying to stay back long enough to handle the off-speed pitch, but just a little tardy on the fastball. Swing and a miss. Got him to go up the ladder for the K. He's really good hitting the baseball the other way, so credit the pitcher for having him out in front of that pitch. Clearly, he had him fooled. And a pitch out, but no steal, and it's ball two. Pickoff move to first, and he dives back in safely. Next offering is fouled back. Next one misses, and a full count now. Got him swinging. This guy will throw any pitch in any count. 3 2. He goes off oh, speed, okay. gets the out. The Here comes Glaber Torres. One for two. The 1 1. Foul ball there. Spoils the two strike pitch and he'll see another. The one two. Swing and a miss struck him out. Pulled the string on the changeup. I think the key is arm action on the changeup. When you can sell it like a fastball. Back at Bush Stadium, John Chambi and Chris Singleton with you. And leading off the bottom of the fourth, Michael Brantley. The punch out there, and there's one down. So up next, Jose Abreu. 0 for 1 with a fly out. Abreu. The other way, and that's a fair ball. Now he turns and heads for second. And that's a double. Showed a willingness to drive that pitch the opposite way. Didn't get jumpy, didn't try to pull the ball. He let it get deep, took the barrel right to it, and then extended through the swing for the line drive base hit. And the batter will be the shortstop, Jeremy Pena. One for one with a single and a run scored so far. One out and a runner at second. Two two now. That's to third. Peraza fires across the diamond. That's it out. Good sinker, low in the zone right there, and produced exactly what he was looking for. Ball on the ground. Nice ground out. Martin Maldonado up to hit. 0 for one. He struck out swinging last time. Next offering is down low. Abreu at second with two down. Hammers that one deep left field and forget it.
He sends it out of here, and they add a pair. It's 6-4. Well, I'm not really sure how he kept that fair. When you're out in front on a breaking ball like that, such a good chance that it's going to hook foul. But not this time. He kept the hands moving forward just long enough to sneak it inside that foul ball. Number 63 gets the ball now. Well, the best relievers love the opportunity to come in and protect a tight lead late in the ball game. Some of them are just wired different. So we'll see what he's got here. Pretty easy walk right there. Last pitch wasn't even much to think about. And now it's out. Alex Bregman. Kicks and deals. Altuve runs. Fought off foul. To first, and he breaks for second. The tag, and that's out number three, inning over. But not before they're able to draw closer with this blast. It's a two-run lead now at 6-4. Back after this on the show. Back here at the ballpark, we go to the top of the fifth. So now the Yankees cleanup hitter, Giancarlo Stanton. The 2-2 now. Just misses the mark outside the zone. Activity. In the bullpen for Houston, Phil Maton preparing to come on if needed. Graveman warming up as well. Swings and misses, struck him out. Thought it was a pretty good pitch. Top of the strike zone. We're seeing more fastballs in that location. Hitters, especially with two strikes, have to be ready to pull the trigger. Austin Wells digs in now. He's already homered here in this one. And he walked him. Maybe a little loss of focus on the mound right there. Pretty the much gifted him first run base run. with a quick Short free time. pass. Anthony. One down. Volpe. And here is Anthony Volpe. And a pitch. And that's outside. Nope. And that one. Cutting but missing down low. And the right handers 3 1. That one in there across the letters. Good plate nope. appearance there. Able to take the walk. Now a great back and forth and that at bat. He had to play off some really close pitches and somehow Boogie found a way to keep the bat on his shoulder right there. I'll tell you right now, I couldn't have done it. Two on, one out. Here's a high fly ball out to center. McCormick has it sized up. Two down. Up next for the Yankees. The Esteban Florial stepping in now for the Yankees. He's already homered in this game. Yeah, the 2 1 hammered, but foul. In the dirt, but no advance from the runners. We'll see another payoff pitch. Stays alive. Three two now. Got it by him for the K. Yank strand a pair. They still lead it though, six four. And welcome back. Bottom of the inning. Now it's Alex Bregman. Lined, and that's a base hit. Well, they call that an advantage count for a reason. You're so much more likely to get something you can handle. I could watch base hits like that one all day long, and so could every hitting coach in the league. Just a nice line drive into center field. Now it's Jordan Alvarez. 
Swing and a miss. And that is strike two. Nobody out. Runner at first. Got him. And now one away. Well, big power guy right there and generating so much bat speed. It's hard to bring that to a halt once you've committed. They try to check the swing, just couldn't do it. Grounded to third. Could be two. Oh, the throw is wild. Around second is Bregman. No, Boog, it can be tough to get a good grip on the baseball when it's cold outside. Yeah, that's definitely the case right now here in the ballpark. It could have been something else, but I definitely know that feeling when your fingertips are numb and you really can't feel the baseball. Swing and a ball hit out towards left center field. Drops into the glove. Runner tags from third. He scores. That's a big sacrifice fly. And now they trail by one. Oh, that's a quality at bat right there. You know the situation. You need something in the air and deep enough, and that's exactly what he did. Good pass to the baseball. Out to center. Florial settles underneath it. He's got it, and that is out number three. One run, one hit, one error, and one left. We're through five. Yankees six, and the Astros five. Back here in Indianapolis. All right, we go to the top half of inning number six. Here's the third baseman, Oswald Peraza. Checks his swing. Now an appeal to first. And he couldn't hold back. He's rung up on strikes. Back to the top of the Yankee order. Up to the plate steps DJ LeMayhew. Singy DJ LeMayhew earned a pretty cool distinction when he won the American League batting title with the Yankees in 2020. He became the first player in the modern era to win a batting title in both leagues. Remember, he won with the Rockies the batting title in the National League in 2016. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make the them pay. Now it's Aaron Judge up to the plate. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. And now two balls and a strike. The Astros have some action in their pen. Phil Maton up and loosening in the pen. LeMayhew leads off first with one away. That one inside. And now three balls and a strike. There's the strike. Yeah, and when he won that title with the Rockies, a lot of people thought it was the Denver effect and just the amount of base hits that you can get in Coors Field, but he proved everyone wrong. Three, two on the way. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. Out number two. Now batter, the second base. Glaber Torres. Here is Glaber Torres. One for three. Pitch misses. Three balls and a strike. Giancarlo Stanton would be next if they can extend the inning. And he's homered already, so I'm sure he'd love a chance to do some more damage here. That clips the zone. Now three and two. Three, two, two out. Runner on first. A lot of movement in the infield. Hitters got to stay focused on the pitch. Out there to center. McCormick has it sized up. Makes the grab, and that's the inning. One hit, one left. Seven, eight, nine, two up in the home half of the inning. Yankees six, and the Astros five. Well, we go bottom six, and stepping in for the Astros, Jose Abreu. 
The lefty ready and a 1 1. And that one just missed off the outside edge. That one is absolutely belted. Gone! He made him pay for that one, and they tie it up. It's 6 6. Singy, the ball is jumping off his bat. Yes, it is. Tons of loud contact. Man, it's been impressive. Well, you can see he was out front just a little bit. Maybe didn't recognize the changeup earlier, but he got the bat head to it, hooked it down the line, and was able to keep it fair for a long, long run. Really impressive. And now it's going to be Jeremy Pena. Swings and misses. That is strike two. Oh, he's just got to delete it. You give up that leadoff home run, go back to work, focus on this next batter. Rip to third and caught. Nothing you can do about those as a hitter. Even though you know that, they still drive you absolutely crazy. Here's the catcher, Martin Maldonado. Coming off an absolute bomb in his last at bat. Falling behind two and one. And another ball. Ripped on a line. And it one hops the wall. Well, when you fall behind in the count, you've got to come into the zone, and then guys have a better chance of hitting the ball hard like you did right there. Back to the top of the lineup. Here's the former MVP, Jose Altuve. He's 0 for 1. And a pitch. And now 2 and 1. The yes, yes. kick and the pitch. Runner goes. Peraza. One at second. And that's two. One scores in the inning coming on this solo home run. And we're all even now at six apiece. It's Major League Baseball, and it's on the show. New arm out of the bullpen, Phil Maytag. And we all know about his slider. It's just filthy, man. And... One of the better ones in the game, I'd say. Spin rate's very high, and it just breaks a ton. At the belt and fires. And that one fouled off. You know, these Yankees, simply put, are producing a lot of quality swings. We've already seen eight line drives from them, and it's always a good sign when the ball is jumping off your bat. And that's what this offense has been doing so far today. Payoff pitch. And that's ball four. Second walk of the game for him, and he's been really patient at the play. The game plan that he's sticking to, he's just not going outside of what he's looking for up there. Here's the catcher to hit, Austin Wells. The pitch. The go-ahead run aboard at first. Nobody out. Fouled off. He was late. Really been able to slow down the game tonight with his at-bats and the biggest one he's had so far. He doesn't look anxious at all. The 2-2. Two -two. This one popped up. Bregman is under it. That was a good hard fastball with some nice ride up in the zone right there. Hitter looked like he was on it, but I think that velocity at the end just beat him. Instead of a line drive or something hit deep, it's a pop-up and an easy out for the defense. Here comes a pitch. Runner on the goal. Swing and a miss. One ball. 
throw to second, tag, and they got him. Well, I think that was a hit and run right there. When you look at how far that pitch was out of the zone and the hitter still trying to put Ward on it, put it in play, that tells you that they had something going. But unfortunately, it was a good job of execution by the pitcher and the catcher to get that out of the zone and then throw out the runner at second base. Really nice job behind the dish. And he deals. Started after it. Appeal to first. And he went around. Ruled the swing. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time. We're back in a new pitcher here to start the bottom of the seventh. Keenan Middleton. They know that he can get a right-hander out, but he's in position to face a couple of lefties this inning. Kicks and fires. That one misses. So a leadoff walk. Now here's the Astros designated hitter, Jordan Alvarez. Next offering is in for a strike. Movement in the Yankees pen, number 29, up and throwing. Next one just misses. And the count is even, two and two. Right-hander kicks, deals. That one ripped. Pulls it in, and there's one away. Now it's the right fielder, Kyle Tucker. Definitely wants to stay out of the double play here. Ball on the ground in the infield. Should be an inning-ending double play. 1-1 one, one now. And that skips in the dirt. Well, with the amount of pitches that can end up in the dirt, a good secondary lead doesn't have to get away from the catcher. But if you're anticipating, based off the trajectory, get yourself into scoring position. And a go-ahead run into scoring position. One away. These guys are relentless. Just till the bell sounds, they are going to keep coming at you, trying to get you into the corner and knock you out. Next to hit, Chaz McCormick. In the air of the infield, and the infield fly is called. So first and second with two outs. And Michael Brantley is going to come up to hit. And there's no doubt that they'll feed off the energy from this crowd, right? I mean, yeah, I'd say the intensity level has gone up a few notches for sure. And now two balls and a strike. Tough spot right here. A couple runners on. Two ball count. You can't nibble, but you have to execute and finish your pitch. If you leave something out over the plate, it's going to bring in some runs. Two and one now. And now it's filled up. At this point in the game, you cannot issue free passes. He's going to have to challenge this hitter. Hitter's got to be ready to swing it. Jose Abreu up next for the Astros. Two on, two outs. To the right side. Down the line, and it's foul. Three and two now. And that'll load the bases. Well, that sets up a really big at bat in this game. These are the moments when now, everyone now, in the stadium the gets base. really locked in. Okay. Oh, Next offering is in for a strike. Bregman on third, Tucker at second, Brantley at first, two out of the inning. Got him! Huge strike out there. Back at Bush Stadium, ready to begin the eighth. Here's the left fielder, Everson Pereira. Here's a 1 1. Whips it to first on the run. Oh, the throw is over his head. 
Just kind of sailed that throw and pulled it across his body towards the right field side of first base. And usually that means the fielder just didn't square up his shoulders to the target. And I think that throw had just as much to do with his footwork as anything else. No outs. Runner at first. Esteban Florial stepping in now for the Yankees. Falling behind two and one. If you're a base runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get into scoring position. The two on. Way to lay off that pitch down. Oswald Peraza in the on deck circle. The three one. And that is ball four, and the Yankees are in business. Now that. Oswald Peraza will hit next. The pitch. And he lays one down the left side. Bregman out on the sack bunt. Now it's LeMayhew up to hit. Here's the 2-2. And that just misses. Definitely a strikeout situation right here. Lots of ways for that go-ahead run to score if the ball's put in play. Line drive. Caught. Throw behind the runner. They've got him doubled off. One left for the Yankees. This game remains. Back now, new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth, number 29. And now the shortstop, Jeremy Pena. One and two now. Line drive, speared at first. LeMayhew takes it to the bag, and that's one away as the leadoff man is out in the eighth. Martin Maldonado up next for the Astros. Beautiful swing in his last at bat, opposite field knock. They had a foul ball. And here's a 3 2. This one in the air, right field. Makes the grab two away down. So the Houston lineup turns over. Jose Altuve getting ready to hit the 1 1. Swings and misses at the pitch off the plate. Activity in the bullpen for the Yankees. Greg Weiser, the hard-throwing righty, is up and loosening. And there's a rocket into the outfield. Around first, heading for two. Floreal gets it in, and the potential go-ahead run stops at second base. Back against the wall with two strikes, but found a way. Anytime you can drive a ball into the gap the other way, it feels so good, and that's when you know you're right where you need. Oh, this one high and deep, way back there. It bangs off the wall. Runner from second crosses the play, and it's a 7-6 game. Such great concentration. Everybody on their feet knowing that you can come through with a good swing and there he doesn't try to do too much pitch misses there two and one two outs and one in scoring position and a rope in the center field base hit here comes Bregman around third he will score and they lead by two Picks himself up an RBI. Other than ripping one into the gap or blasting one over the wall, there aren't a whole lot of hits that are more satisfying than a nice line drive in the center field. So that definitely felt good. And now Kyle Tucker tracks it down for the out. And that's three hits, no errors, and one left. We're back. It's the top of the ninth. And there's a new pitcher on the mound, Ryan Presley. Well, he's the guy they hope to turn to out of the pen to lock down wins. So this game has gone to plan, more or less. Let's see if he can wrap it up here. The count two and one. And Judge spoils that one. The Yankees looking to rally. Ripped to third and caught. That'll drive you crazy as a hitter if you let it. I mean, he couldn't have hit that ball more on the screws than he did, and yet he's got nothing to show for it. Hang with him. I know the feeling. 
Glaber Torres up to the plate. Bounced up the middle. Throw sails over his head at first. Well, from the time you're a little leaguer, you're taught to hustle out of the box and give it a full sprint through the base, regardless of how you hit it. And he didn't make great contact, but the effort was there, and he earns the base hit. Giancarlo Stanton to the plate now. Center field. McCormick has it sized up. He's got it, and there's two away. So last chance for the Yankees. And next for New York, Austin Wells. Corner infielders guarding the lines, trying to prevent extra bases. Just one strike away. Got him! And that's the ball game. You know, even when these guys were trailing by six, it seemed like they had confidence that they could get back in this ball game. I don't know if they knew they could win it in this fashion, but they did an excellent job of executing in the little ways. They grinded it out and came away with a nice W. Final score of eight to six in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chomby saying so long.